forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Peacemaker8000, back with another 2K21 build. Now, today we're going to be building MVP Giannis onto Takumpo. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, man, be sure to like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the build. So, for the skill breakdown, we're going to go all the way to the bottom. That will be the second to last one, which is basically the defensive pie chart. Once we select that, the physical profile we're going to select is going to be the first one. Because we're going for speed on this build, I know you're probably thinking, why am I choosing a 64 strength on a big man? But trust me, it's going to make sense when we come to the end of this video. Next, we're setting our potential. We're going to max out all of our finishing. Every single one of it, even the post hook, max it out, which gives 18 finishing badges. Come down here and do the same exact thing with our defense, which will give us 30 defensive badges. So you'll have 30 defensive badges, 18 finishing with 35 points remaining. Now, these points can go towards whatever. I'm going to put mine towards my post move, and I'm going to take a few off of my perimeter defense since I'm a big. I'm not going to be coming out there playing defense on the perimeter and put it towards my pass accuracy so I'm not throwing balls out of bounds. Now, as you can see, our numbers are looking pretty good. We have 30 defensive, 18 finishing, but we're not done. So for the body shape, of course, it does not matter. I'm going with compact. Now for the height, you guys have to trust me when I'm telling you the height is going to be 6'8". I know you guys are thinking, uh, why am I making a 6'8 big man? Just look at the speed. 82 speed, 79 acceleration with a 76 vertical. Strength has never mattered. I had 95 strength last year. I would still body people when I had a player that had 65. Strength does not matter. It never has. It never will matter. Look at the difference in speed and everything you get from 6'9 to 6'8. We're not done with the build, but just look at how great it looks. You're going to be faster than everybody else, and if you say, oh, I'm going to get bullied as a big at 6'8, you have 30 defensive badges to help you with, you know, post-move lockdown, whatever the case may be, and you have, you're going to recover quicker than everybody else. You're going to be faster, everything. Now, for the weight... Same thing, trust me on this. I know you're gonna think I'm crazy. 185, that gives us an 86 speed with an 83 acceleration, man. Look at this build. We are not done. Still, this is gonna be the finale. Now watch every number on the left. Look at that. A 94 standing dunk, a 89 driving dunk, a 87 close shot with an 87 steal, a 92 block, a 91 offense rebound and a 93 defensive rebound this build is absolutely broken you have all the defense you need you still get a 90 plus block defensive and offensive rebound but you have an 86 speed with 83 acceleration you have a 76 vertical you can catch any lob you're going to be every big up and down the court you can play this as a big you can play this as a guard whatever you want to do man this build can do it all now I would recommend choosing the rim protecting takeover just because you already are 6'8. It's going to only help you boost your defense to go ahead and knock out everybody down low in the post, man. Now, I'm going to show you guys the exact badges. As you can see on the side, Shades of Giannis Antetokounmpo. It's a glass cleaning finisher. I mean, this build is going to be the meta. You're going to see so many people with this build in 2K21. I promise to you, this, the park is going to be full with this build because this build is just broken man this build is extremely broken now the reason i love this is of course oh you're six eight but you can play this you know what i'm saying you can play this intimidators already you, you know you're gonna need intimidate but you can play this you know as if you were a guard you can get the pick dodge you can get the intercept you can get the lightning reflexes you can get the defensive leader the clamps you can play this like a guard and lock down every single person if you have somebody that's a seven foot or big and they put you at the two you will lock up everybody with this build or you can play it like a big, which is what I'm going to do. I'm still going to keep my defensive leader up there. I'm still going to keep my intimidator. Keep, still going to keep my interceptor. And I'm going to keep it just like this. I'm going to go rebound chaser. I'm going to go rim protector hall of fame. So we have two hall of fame, four hall of fame, 14 badges remaining. I'm going to go worm on silver. I'm going to go pogo stick on hall of fame just because I already know I'm at a disadvantage down low. Now you can still put pickpocket on since technically you do have a very high steal. So we can go ahead and put, put pickpocket on silver. And now post move lockdown, I'm gonna put on Hall of Fame just because I already know it will come in handy with the size mismatch. And then we can put box on silver as well. And these are what the badges look like, man. And like I said, you can build these any type of way. If you're playing them as a guard, if you want, if you go into the rec center and you already have two bigs, 
you can play this like a playmaking slasher or whatever the case may be because you can switch these on lightning reflex interceptor all these type of guard badges but if you want to play this a big these are the badges i highly recommend then we're going to go over here we're going to do the finishing now this build has a very high vertical so lob city finisher i feel like it's a no-brainer to go on gold then we're going to come down slippery finisher i'm going to put on gold as well same with cross key score then we'll go fancy footwork contact finisher and giant slayer a lot of people might say oh why don't you get an acrobat you know what fuck you acrobat you know what i'm saying i don't i've, I've never really done acrobatic limbs and seen this badge come up even though i had it on one of my bigs when i would do you know fucking jelly dicking around in the park i would never see the acrobatic badge come up so to me i don't really see a need for getting it let me hit continue then for your shooting you don't really you're not really a shooter on this build so you can just go catch and shoot playmaking of course man now this depends on how you're going to play you can be trying to body down low and you know what i'm saying use that vertical use that height the agility to play good smaller defenders you want the dream shape but if you're going for you know a different type of build you can go break starter you can go quick first step you can go unpluckable whatever you want to do i'm going to go quick first step just because i already know how to use this badge very effectively with the sidestep and these are going to be your badges so like i said guys this build is going to be a demigod for nba 2k 21 you guys have to please trust me when you make this build man you guys seen the numbers you've seen how it looks this build is going to be the meta, man. Other than that, man, if you're new to the channel, man, be, be sure to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy, Pizza Maker 8000.